A 2.1 centimeter thick wood floor covers a 4 meter by 5.5 meter room. The subfloor on which the flooring sits is at a temperature of 16.3 degrees Celsius, while the air in the room is at 19.2 degrees Celsius. What is the rate of heat conduction through the floor? Use 0.2 watts per meter Kelvin for the thermal conductivity of the wood. So we have our uh, thermal conductivity equation, which is Q over change in time is equal to K or our thermal conductivity constant times the cross-sectional area that we're looking at. That is all divided by the length or how, um, how deep or how high it is, I guess, is a way to think of it. And then all of that is times by the change in temperature. So they tell us right here that the thermal conductivity constant that we're going to use, K, is 0 0.2 watts per meter Kelvin. Then we need to find the cross-sectional area. So we have a wood floor here. It's covering a room. They say it's 4 meters by 5.5 meters. So A is equal to 22 square meters. Now we need L, which they say the wood floor is 2.1 centimeters thick. So 2.1 cm, which is 0 0.021 meters. Now last, the change in temperature is the room 19.2 degrees Celsius and underneath the floor is 16.3 degrees Celsius. So we have more heat or more energy up in the room which is going to flow down through the floor to where there's less energy and so the delta T is negative 2.9 degrees Celsius or negative 2.9 Kelvin um, I got that. I was just thinking final temperature that we're looking at is a 16.3. Up here, this is 19.2. Um, I don't know if we need to worry about the negative. I just put it there uh, because of the way I was looking at it as 16.3 is our final temperature and 19.2 is the um, initial. Um, they want to know what is the rate of heat conduction through the, through the floor. So since I just want to know the rate, that's why I said I don't think we need to worry about this negative. It's, um, so let's just go ahead and change that to a positive, I guess, and not even worry about the negative delta T. So now we can just plug it in. So Q over delta T is equal to 0 0.2 watts per meter Kelvin times the area, which we said is 22 meters squared, 22. And then that is divided by L, which is 0 0.021. And then we get a value for that, and we times it by 2.9 Kelvin, which gives us Q over delta T as 610 watts.